we go, here we go, Hot Rods, Blazing Topics. It's your boy Hot Rod here, back with another one, here with another episode. Oh man, I hope everybody week is going well so far, man. Guys, excuse me for not dropping the episode last week. Your boy needed a mental check, I'm cool, nothing wrong with me, I just need to take a little break after the holiday, man, it was pretty wild, man, um, I like to say, you know, guys, thank you for the, for the comments, you know what I mean, and I'll start off with that note, guys, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, tap the notification bell for update videos, please tap the like button, you guys, if I, the YouTube algorithm shoes, you know, they apparently like to, to give recommendations to people when they share a lot of likes, um, so continue to please tap those like buttons, man, and share the content, man, it's beautiful content, I, I was really, really glad to see, like I said, that the, the comment sections, it was very, uh, engaging, um, and that's what I like to do, man, I like to have those type of conversations, you know, top conversations that we have on a daily basis that we think of, but don't really talk too much about, um, of course we like the negative clickbaits, I don't know why, but I feel like these conversations, like, Thanksgiving conversation was very, very important, and I'm gonna continue to give y'all conversation and content based on, on things like that, things that we talk, you know, th things that we talk on with other people, one-on-one -on -one in private, and things that we think about on a, on a daily basis, but don't really express enough, and I feel that that's important for me to deliver, um, as y'all can see here, I have a, a very, very special guest, um, I mean, she's very special. Not a, I wouldn't say he's a guest, though, but she is a special guest on camera for the first time. Uh, actually, if, if you pay attention to the beginning videos and you were watching the videos early on when I was doing podcasts, she was actually the one who was talking behind the camera, right? What's your name again? Maddie. There you go. So, y'all, if y'all if y'all go back in the old videos, y'all might y'all gonna hear that, um, that name so y'all know it was her. But this time, we're in front of the camera for the first time. And, um... So, you know, we want to talk about a conversation, and we do have an interesting conversation, but before we do start that conversation, Maddie, please give your socials, although she doesn't like to be on social media, we get that, uh, she claims she doesn't have any, she's not active on social media. I don't have any social media. She has, she has TikTok, but okay. <laughs> she, she's not active on Instagram, and I don't, do you even have a Facebook? I'm not active on it. I've never seen your Facebook, but I know we we, we are on TikTok, but I, I mean, we're not as active on Instagram, and we we claim that we have Facebook, we're not on it. Although I've never seen the name of it, but hey, mm -mm. maybe she could be a ghost follower, but who knows, right? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> don't but, do that. Uh, but um, you know, give people your, your your Instagram. Definitely shout your Instagram. I mean, I'm sorry, you know, you can't get Instagram, but your TikTok. My TikTok is at Jador underscore Maddie, and I'll definitely put it in the um on the video so you guys can see it. Um. So we'll jump into it, man. We have an interesting conversation. Like I said, can you be friends with your ex? Sip. <laughs> Take another sip again. Can mm. you be friends with your... I, I'll join you in that sip, too. I, I, I'll Cheers. join you. Mm. A sour one, too. Just like, the, <laughs> just like this topic. Can you be friends with your ex? And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'll clear that up. It doesn't have to be necessarily just actually give me someone you dated in general, right? Someone you, you dated in the past, y'all was just talking. I don't like to use the word talk. I know that's a Philly thing. We just talked. I think that's just... Vibing. A, yeah, vibe, see, vibe, vibing. Pro vibing. <laughs> you dated. They say you dated. I mean, if you were screwing around, right, you say you were screwing around when you dated. Dated, I mean, not dating. When you say we talk, I feel like talk is just like a lingo of trying to hide that you were doing some, you know, dirty action with someone, but you didn't really trying to, like, you know, be... Oh, obvious with it, but you kind of be in the street. So you say, yeah, we talked. Okay. You dated. Dated. But dated, dated is like, you know. Talking. Yeah, you've been on a few dates. Yeah. Y'all might have had some action or not, but we don't know. But talk is like straight like, yeah, we talked. So y'all talk. Like it's like, more for the younger. Yeah, that is. That is. But you'd be surprised. I'd be hearing some <laughs> folks around my age saying, do we talk <laughs> to? Talk. We talked. We talked. used to talk. We should talk. <laughs> and it's never like with a straight face. Like it's very uncomfortable. Yeah, we, we should talk. Like, mm, you know, yeah, look at me with eye contact when you're saying that. You, you okay? <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't a detective now. But, you know, but but in all seriousness, though, it's like, you know, can you date someone? I mean, can you talk, you know, be friends with someone that you once dated or you talked, in other words, or you was in a relationship with the ex? Um, that's... I don't know. I mean, I I have you know people that I have very uh, good relationships with that I've actually dated and an ex before. But I know that's not common. That's not something that's really like 
you know, you'll see out here in the world people really doing, like, on a social standpoint, like they're going out here and socializing and talking to your ex when they see them. A lot of people like to avoid them. They block them. They don't want everyone to see them again. I guess to, we, we'll get deep into that with yours, your <laughs> theories. But, um, but it's, 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 I feel like for me personally, if you keep, like, if you put, if you establish boundaries, right? You establish boundaries in the beginning. I feel as though you 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 have an upside. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I think it's definitely gonna be a bit rocky at first because depending how intimate that you know you two were when you were you know in a relationship, I think it you know it can lead to at least being friends. Now it's not gonna be. It's gonna be weird. It's definitely gonna be weird. I think it's gonna be uncomfortable at first because it's like how do you like switch that? You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. someone that you once had feelings for, and whether you loved them or not, whatever, you still had some form of intimacy and you had feelings for them so it's like how do you then separate that and shift automatically like i said to this being okay let's work on now being friends without having jealousy without having dislike and hatred right because they 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 or, or they might have those uncomfortable uncomfortable conversations and letting you know like hey i have a friend that i'm talking to now i'm actually dating someone and your heart don't go oozing and is in pain when you hear those words right because a lot of times you wish you wish it was sort of you even though you know you both realize like these are you know both of you guys are great human beings, but it's just not a match, right? Yeah. It's still going to hurt because you kind of wish it was a match. But for me, it's like I just feel as though if you want a shot at having a friendship with someone that you was used to date or you know, or, or was in a relationship with, I think it just got to have that conversation of estab- establishing boundaries. But I'll let you say, what, what do you think on that to start off with? I mean, just... To- Originally, I'm like, absolutely not. Like, there's just not something. I feel like if we didn't work out, we done. There's nothing to talk about. There's nothing, like, what are we trying to keep? But then I feel like there's a different level of vulnerability that you have with somebody. You're like, Mm -hmm. even if you're not intimate, but, like, even when you're just talking, it's like you open yourself up more to this person. You share traumas. You share fears. You share a lot with this person. So then you have to consider, like, okay, am I able or do I want to let this person go knowing how deep we got with each other like knowing the things we talked about knowing the things we went through together so it's like dang like should I let that go based off the fact that you know we have emotions at the time or should I let it ride out and see where we can get from there so it's just like I guess it's just like weighing the options but in the past nah you're blocked (laughs) (laughs) you're blocked but but see but even when I hear you right hear you speaking it seems like it's it's like it, the word that comes to my mind is trust, right? You 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 form this bond and this trust with someone, right? You had those intimate conversations, and you don't really find like a lot of people in your life that you would you share some of these things, a lot of your traumas, like you said, yeah. that you may have had in the past that you still probably dealing with, or you're going through whatever the case may be. But it's like once you find that individual that you're comfortable sharing those experiences with that you that happen in your life, it's really hard to just let them go. And I, f- I feel like at first it's like you're gonna be bitter because you're gonna be mad and you're gonna be like, oh, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I'm gonna block. I'm like, I'm like, I mean, I mean, I might block you personally. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just how I, you know, call, call it divish, call it what do they call it, zesty, whatever the case may be. <laughs> zesty, yeah, 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 zesty. I'm listening. Zesty, zesty. Listen, I'm blocking you. Okay, that's how I gotta get through it. Listen, I always tell people, you do whatever you do to make you feel comfortable. You do mm-hmm. whatever you do that help you get through that shit. Mine's yeah. I'm not gonna want to talk to you for a week or two. I might not want to talk to you for a month. Right, I might not want to see anything with you. I might not want to see you. you might post something on Instagram or, or, or on your story, and I gotta be like, damn, she fired. I ain't mine no more, though. I gotta find a way to, but it's like, it's like walking through the damn, uh, you know. It's like going. It's like for me. It's like going every direction. Every direction you go to, it's like it's so weird too, right? I'm gonna just say this though. It's so weird because I feel like you've never seen. It's like a vehicle. It's like a car, right? When you don't, when when at first, before you got that car, you never seen that car before. Oh yeah. Yeah. But once you got that car, now you see the car everywhere, yeah. and that's how I look at it too as well. Like the person start to like go out more often now, and you ain't never really see their stories before, and now out of nowhere you're starting to see posts. You start to see stories. Now you start. They ain't really had heart emojis on the day on the day, uh, damn post before. Now you see all the heart emojis. All the guys want to come at her. You're like, damn, I don't want to be watching this like I, I don't know if i can take this right now you know what i mean and it's like it hurts it hurts so it's like when i feel like when i first for me personally when i'm first like when i first 
end a relationship or vice versa, I need that space. I feel personally, I need that space to kind of decompress. I need that space to change, you know, change my chain of thoughts, you know, my mindset. So I, if I can ad- embrace and accept you in a different role than it was we, once we had before. And I feel like once I have that trust in someone, I don't want to let that go. For me personally, because like, for me, like before I tell you, like if we, you, you, you know, you give your opinion. For me, I just feel like a lot of times... I have that one person in my life that I once dated before, and it was weird, right? At first, I feel like a lot of times we we kind of be a shell of ourselves, right? When you first meet someone, it's like we get to defense mode, you know, which which is normal because we don't want to share everything. We don't want to be as open up to people and just give everything, at, you know, give everything off to ourselves right away to an individual. And next thing you know, we are afraid they might use that against us. Mm-hmm. But I feel once you kind of let go, you let free, right? And you actually have a, you a build a friendship with this person. I feel like a lot of times you then realize things are just, things just become more natural, right? Now you become more open. It's weird because you would, you would think that you should be open while you're in a relationship with someone and you're talking with someone, right? But I feel a lot of times we, we, the, we try to go straight, we go, we, we just go straight to defense. Like we always want to be careful because a lot of our past hurt, a lot of our past traumas, we don't want to come back to bite us in our oh, butt yeah. again. So therefore we don't, we don't share many things right away, but it's just weird for me. Like, Sorry, excuse me. That's why it's weird for me specifically that I had an experience like with someone that I once dated and I was more open than before and I didn't think twice about it. I didn't think twice about it. I felt free. I felt like a, a, a damn near therapy session at times, right? I felt like a therapy session. Like I'm like, damn. And afterwards, I had a conversation. I was really like, damn, why am I open with this individual now? Then when I after was the with fact. them, yeah, after the fact, then when I was with them in a relationship. So what do you think? Like, why does that happen, though? I feel like because I feel like it's less expectation. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like when you're in a relationship, it's like, I don't want to say this because I fear losing you or I don't want to do this because I fear losing you. But since we don't have the expectation no more, it's like, like, it's whatever. Like, I just talk to you like you're my friend because I don't. I don't fear saying something or doing something that could potentially lose you because we're established as friends now. So Mm -hmm. if I talk to you about some guy that did this, you can't really get upset, you know? (laughs) Like, I mean, you can get upset. They might be. They ain't going to tell you, Yeah, but, like, you can't get upset about that. Or if I tell you, like, you know, I, I feel like it's more, I'm more comfortable to vent to you because it's, like, the expectation that we have for each other is different. Like, you can't, I mean, if I say something and then you probably gonna piece it together, like, nah, when we was talking or when we was dating, that's not what you said. But, like, I'm more comfortable. Like, you get more comfortable with the person because it's like, I don't, I don't, in a sense, I don't owe you that. Mm. You know, I don't, you owe the person loyalty still. Don't get me wrong because even in friendship, you owe that. But it's just like, I don't owe you to that level. You know, like, I don't have to do it that way. So I'm more comfortable. I could tell you more. I tell you too much. <laughs> so <laughs> like you start discovering things yeah, before that work. Like, like oh, and, but then like you said, you can't really uh, say something because yeah. the rules is now different. So you're like, dang, you got to sit there and eat it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like when y'all mean? in something, you're like, dang, I'm gonna tell you this so bad, but I can't. Yeah, but best, <laughs> like, I'm that petty one. Best believe we get back together. Yeah, oh, you oh, remember when you said this? When oh we were yeah, friends? Oh, you, you, you remember everything. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> <laughs> you hold, remember everything. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, like, wait, hold up. When you told me that date, <laughs> yeah, that, that date you no, told me about. No, but even though it'd be like, it's funny because it's like, yeah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't tell the truth at that time. But like, you know, we besties right now. No, <laughs> we cool right now. Uh, I could, I could tell you that. Like, but I mean, ultimately, I'm a private person. So do you? <laughs> all right, so do you feel as though that? With that being said, like, do you believe in that? Like. When they say you can marry your best friend, like I feel like, so what I mean by that is right. It, it's so crazy. Like a lot of people used to always say, "Oh yeah, you marry your best friend." And I think it was just a myth. It was a joke. I didn't believe it. But then, like like you said, when you have those, you have that comfortability with that person. Like you treat them like they are your best friend, right? You mm-hmm. have those conversations that are timid. Um, I mean, intimate with each other. Well, it could be timid at first, I said. But then you become intimate with this person, and then next you know things break off, and y'all have those private conversations, and y'all have those conversations like y'all are best friends. Do you then believe, like, damn, like, I can really marry my best friend? Because to me, it's like, how can you marry someone that you really 
aren't really physically attracted to, but then a lot of times later on you learn people get attracted to each other besides just like their physical appearance. People get attracted to each other when they realize they are, these are two souls that match. And that's not always the case where you're going to find two souls that match. And, I, and like I said, I want, I want to really emphasize before I get your opinion. I've, I've learned over time that a lot of times people think that because they don't work out, that means they're bad people. And I want to let people know that sometimes two great souls just aren't meant for each other. It doesn't make you a terrible person or you're just not someone who can date or you're not you're not wifey material or whatever, your husband bound, whatever. Sometimes you just it, because it, well, I say that because a lot of times I feel like when 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 you when you when you are when you are pure and you are a great human being, you have right intentions. And you go in, you go into a relationship with someone, and y'all realize y'all are just two great human beings, but it just cannot work out. I feel like after the relationship is over, it leaves you with a lot of questions. Like, is there something wrong with me? Like, damn, like why didn't we work? We are two great human beings. It's like there's bad and there's you know there's good and there's bad or bad or evil. Whatever the case may be, we're just two great souls that just does not you know we don't align for each other. And I feel it's important for people to understand that because. I feel like people slip into depression, they get upset, they get mad, or when they try to find a new partner, they try to change themselves and then their identity of who they are because they're not sure anymore about themselves. They feel like, well, damn, I can be the perfect person and I still can't get my catch. So I want people to understand that even though there are two great human beings, two great souls, and it just does not work, doesn't mean you are a terrible person. It just means that we are two human beings who just don't have a match we're not matched for each other, and our souls just don't align. But it doesn't mean we can't stick around and be friends. But that's 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 I kind of want to get your input on that. As far as what do you think about besties for the resties marry each other? <laughs> this is a lot of shade, by the way. I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> Shady. Anyways, um, I don't know about that. Like, I feel like it is possible for like you know, okay, we become best friends. Like, okay, we had a situation, it didn't work out. We become best friends, and then we realize, okay, like you know, like you, back to what we said previously, it's like we're able to be more, you know, open with each other because like there's no obligations, so we're more we're more able to like be more open and like talk about certain things. And then we realize, okay, like do you want to try this again? I'm all for not doubling back. Team not doubling back. Once I leave the block, though. What they say, <laughs> would you uh spin the block? If I left the block, I'm cool. But I don't I don't know personally. Like I feel like I, I know I used friend, to have that thinking. I did. I used to have like, that not thinking to spin like, the block. like not spin the block. Like not well, my thing is it, it depends, right? I feel like it I mean, okay. I'll start by saying there there are different stages in life, right? People maturity level grows, you would hope so as they has they age, mm-hmm. but some just don't change too as well. But I'm just gonna say like I feel like it depends on how you ended. What's the what's the intention, right? Why you guys ended, right? Because a lot of times people like I feel like if I know your intention is like, okay, well, you know, I'm just going to leave this relationship because I want to go do my own thing. I want to go start fresh. That's cool, right? Do your own thing. You know, you just want to escape. Things may have been going well, but you feel as though you just want to change. But I feel like to me, that's just a gamble because there's not many people in life you're going to find that's really like, damn, like I let someone great go and I can get back again. That's not always the case. Yeah. And that's where a lot of times people end up regretting later on in life. I know people who literally regretted later on in life about who they thought their soulmate was and who their soulmate is now. And they let that go, right? Ten years ago, they knew, like, damn, this individual is for me, but I got to let that go because I just I just don't want to do this anymore. I want to go live my quote-unquote life, right? I want to go live the YOLO life, do me. But then you, you think because you know this person and their personality that, you know, hey, maybe five, ten years from now, they'll be available and I can come back and spill and spin the block. Now, if I know that's your... I'm a Virgo. We observe... That's fair, though. We're, we're, we observe we're petty, okay? We're petty people, but we, we are kind. Don't get me wrong. We're loving, we're sweet. But at the same time, I feel as though if I know your intention is to go do something on purpose and you think you're going to come spin the block back on me? Hell no. And I'm going to let you come back too thinking that you got everything you wanted. You got it. Like, I'm going to come. No. I'm going to play along and I'm going to give you that same pain. Yes, I'm petty. I'm going to give you that same pain you gave me. Because I want you to feel that, damn, like, it's one thing to end something. 
right? Because it just cannot work out. But the selfishness to end something for your own, you know, your own reasons. You want to be selfish, I just want to do me. And like I said, you have that choice to do you. But understand you're gambling and taking a chance of losing someone that you may not be able to get back. And I feel like if that's your intention, I want to go live my life and think you're going to come back and spin the block. That one, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you like, oh, okay. Come back, come back, come back. Come, back. <laughs> come, come around the block. Come up the hill. And like I'm going to just Haitian push mother, you man. down. I'm going to just push you down. But, uh, you know, that, I mean, I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm trolling a little bit. I am trolling a little bit. But I know, I just feel as though it depends on the person's intentions um, on, on, you know, on how the situation ended to be like, I can literally let someone come back and spin the block. I think, though, at, at, you know, to flip the coin, if things weren't, you know, going on great or you, you both was in two different stages, y'all didn't have the same mindset. And then let's say five years later, y'all come back and spin the block. Then I'd be like, all right, you know what? We were we were just in two different stages in life. I had this going on. You had this going on. We didn't see eye to eye, but we still love each other. But we understand that we're better right now apart. But then later on, if it comes back around, then you're like, you know what? Okay, if I'm available, if they're available, we didn't leave on bad, you know, on bad terms that we could possibly spin the block and do that again. But aside of that, though, nah. Mm -mm. See, that's just my opinion. But you, I know you just like no, I ain't spending the block. Period. Like, I'm a great catch. You let me go. Yes, sweetheart. Yes, because I just feel like at the end of the day, I understand. I completely understand. You know, you may not be where you at in life. You may not, you know, know what you want. But I feel like at the end of the day, everybody has the the most people. I can't say everybody has the ability to speak. It is nothing to communicate with somebody. I'm not here right now, or I can't give you what you want right now. Go mm-hmm. about your business, and then you know later on in life, you know if we reconnect, we can reconnect. But to put somebody through the ringer. So for you, it's just communication. It's communication, simple. Okay. But to put somebody through the ringer, knowing that what you want and what they want is not the same thing. Mm-hmm. You either leave or they either leave, and then years later, when you finally get yourself together, it's like okay, yeah, I want you back. Like no, like <laughs> you said, you a uh, Virgo, I'm a Scorpio, baby. We forget, we remember. Yeah. And we hold grudges, like not grudges into the. In the sense, like, I'm going to get you back. But grudge is in the sense that you would never get me the same that you had me before. Oh, no. I'm going to hold a grudge. No. And no but that, the thing no, is, no, I'm no. Gonna but, a, I'm going to count down the day from day one to day <laughs> 1,081. I don't got time for that. I, I'm going to keep a note on the chart. Remember remember 10 years ago on <laughs> yeah, this calendar we know, date, we know. you set X, Y, and Z. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know. <laughs> but... <laughs> No, but for real, because, like, I'm the type of person, like, I hold grudges in the sense that you would never get the same person twice That's for me. That's for me, true. you would never get the same person twice. So i rather not go back to that because, like, I, who want to be in a relationship when I can't be myself? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I'm goofy. Like, I'm a goofy person. I'm a <laughs> very, like, I'm just the type of person I am. Like, I have a very goofy, open personality. So it's like... To the fact that I can't be that with you because what I remember was done to me, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be stepping on eggshell in my relationship. I want it to be fresh. I want it to be new. I want it to be, you know. Like you don't like your friends, like how y'all are. Like, you're my best friend. Like, you know, we could do, I don't know, rich it. Like, you know, and I feel comfortable And I feel like that's what's missing in our society today is people are so pressed. People are so in a rush. And it's so weird because I think you and I had this conversation before and we realized, um... Like, damn, like, when we didn't, like, when you don't rush in, in, in relationships, when you first meet someone, you actually take the time to know them, you grow that special bond. I think that's mm-hmm. when it becomes friends to best friends to marriage. But I feel like today's society, people are so quick and pressed to get into the relationship without even knowing the partner, without even knowing the person that they're with. And next you know, this is why you have a divorce rate that's at an all-time high, because they miss a lot of steps. So learning, I feel like you don't have to share every detail in your life, right? But for me, I just feel like it's special for me when I express... The, my, my traumas to my partner because then I feel as though when they knew all my traumas from early on when I was a child what happened to me right from a child to teen teenage years to my early adult years to who I am today I feel as though in certain situations certain arguments certain conversations she'll know how to handle me she'll know how to handle our conversations she'll know what to say what not to say because she knows my history so she will know maybe there's certain you know certain things I'm not going to say within this conversation because I know this was a traumatic experience for him I'm not going to don't state those words from that's going to help 
help trigger him and therefore it's going to put us in a bad state but i feel as though when you take the time to learn someone and learn who their behavior is learn their patterns learn their history i just think it makes a better connection a strong bond when you're in a relationship with someone and sometimes it takes three years yeah, <laughs> a long time. it takes a while. It takes it yeah. takes a while, to, and it's so crazy because you realize, and over time, it's like, damn, you're having conversations with someone that you wouldn't even have expected three months into, like talking with someone that you would have three, four years later, and yeah. then you're finding out new things about, you know, about the individual has it over time because now they feel more loose, they feel more free, they feel more comfortable telling you these stories about them that you would have never thought they would have experienced a day in life, but you simply took the time, you simply took the time to learn about them and i think it made things a lot more smooth and then i feel as though you know what maybe we can get to that next level but i feel like today people are simply rushing trying to get to the next stage and they miss a lot of steps and this is why after they get married you see divorce rates bad people just divorce six months or short or a year later and next thing you know here is not going well and especially when they have kids forget about it mm-hmm. that's a whole nother conversation i'm not going to touch on today but i just feel personally like it's, it's very important to establish a, a certain friendship with someone first. Like I know it sounds very old school, but some of the old school traditions, I feel like it's still very, very useful today. I actually saw something on TikTok like that. Uh, it was like a trend, like what was the dumbest reason you broke up with somebody? And then this girl said she broke up with um, her ex, well, her boyfriend at the time, because he got her strawberry cake. Mm -hmm. And then she went through the history and she was saying, well, for her birthday, he got her strawberry cake for her birthday. She talked to her about the history. She said Mm -hmm. since she was young, she was deadly, like allergic to strawberries. Mm. She said for the fact that this man that I've been dating for over a year got me a strawberry cake said a lot about our relationship and she broke up with him. (sighs) So that speaks to what you just said. It's like, it takes years to get to know somebody. And it's the, the fact that you got her a strawberry cake and she's, allergic to it to the point of her possibly dying it was just like that was just something i thought about when he was and, talking and the last one i'll say, I'll say to don't fall into the trap right don't fall into the trap a lot of times people get outside noise which impacts what they have going on in their personal relationship with people right they get opinions from other people who think this is how life should go instead of their own opinions and therefore they then bring that trouble into their relationship instead of instead of communicating simply with their partner you know what they both think about uh, you know how things should be as far as relationship and how you know how long well, when should, you know when should you get married and when should you have kids that's for you and your partner to discuss but a lot of times people listen so much into the outline noise like oh why aren't you like you know engaged with this person yet when are y'all gonna get married when y'all gonna have kids and i just feel like to me that becomes problematic when you start you know including the out and outside noise into your relationship i mean there's no other way than tyrese gibson situation i hate to bring it up like that right <laughs> look at look what happened with his with i mean mm. his ex-wife, ex-wife i guess at the time yeah. who then came out and admitted that you know it's because of her friends that she listened that she regret doing it, right? But if she would have simply just expressed to him how did he feel directly, how did she feel directly about their relationship and what the problem was, that would have saved their marriage. And guess what? Now he's like, I don't want no, nothing to do with her now, whether he stands on that or not. As of right now, he doesn't want anything to do with her. He say he's done. But that's the problem. People need to stop listening to outside noise. And that's that's my view on that. But I know you had something to say. I done forgot. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Okay. It's fine. Um, so this is, I don't know. I just feel like, um, oh, I was going to say, like, just, and that's a tough lesson I had myself. I feel like, you know, the excitement of something new, like I have something new and, you know, mm-hmm. you just want to share it with the world. But I feel like that was my biggest downfall. I feel like a lot in my uh, past situations, like I feel like I ran to people too quick. Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, it just is excitement. So I would agree with that. Like just waiting until like something is set in stone or established to the point where you're comfortable. You know, don't rush into saying anything to anybody. You know, vent to God if you need to vent to anybody. Because um, that, that that quick prayer, if this person ain't for me, remove them out of my life. God going <laughs> God gonna act fast, you know. <laughs> so if you need anybody opinion, you going to ask God and say that prayer. I'm telling you. Amen to that, man. And next day, ear, that person going to be in or out of your life. Hey. <laughs> With that prayer. I ain't going to say nothing past that with that. <laughs> With that being said, guys, please engage in the comments. Let me know your opinion on this, man. Let me know your thoughts on this. Can you be friends with your ex? If you agree, please explain why. If you don't, please explain why too as What's well. What's your final answer? 
Um, I, 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 depending on the case scenario, I think you is a possibility. Uh, I'm gonna lean more so with the yes. I'm gonna lean more so with yes, depending on the circumstance. Like I said, how was y'all when y'all ended? You know what caused the ending? What was the conversation like and stuff like that? But I'm gonna lean more towards for yes for now. What about you? I say maybe so. Maybe so. Okay. <laughs> that's, better, that's better than what Dan went out last couple of years. That was a was hard hell no. no. Hell no. Like I said, but that's the thing. That's the beauty of life. As we we age, we mature, we have yeah. different opinions. We don't always stay the same. So I'm going to keep it there. Guys, Matt, Matt, thank you for coming on, Matt. And give me a shout out on, on Twitter. I'm sorry, I said Twitter. On, on TikTok once again. Um, at Jador Mid underscore Mid. She, she bailing me on here. That's how I know she'll be on. She remember her own name. I don't be on social media, <laughs> guys. Thank you for uh, listening again today, guys. Please don't forget to please like and subscribe, share the content, tap notification bell to get more up to date videos. I will definitely have on guests again in the future. Um, I hope you guys have a rest of your, uh, a, a great rest of your week. Continue to attack those goals, man. I'll talk to y'all again. Hot rods, baby, the topic. I'm out. My family, thanks for watching another episode of Hot Rods Blazing Topics. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tap notification bell to get up-to-date videos. And please follow all of our social media for more on Hot Rods Blazing Topics.